Hello everyone welcome back on Cloud Saviors my name is Rahul Mujahid and in this video we are going to discuss something very interesting topic that's all about hackers okay so we'll be covering only three types of hacker in this video basically we have around the 9 to 10 types of hackers but in this video we are only covering the main type of hackers that is the white hackers black hat hackers and gray hat hackers So before starting make sure you click on the subscribe button and of course if you like the video then share this video with your friends as well so let's start it Okay so let's start with the first one that is the white hat hackers So white hat hackers are types of hackers who are professional with expertise in cyber security They are authorized or you can say certified to hack the system. These white hat hackers work for government or any private or public companies. They hack the system from the loopholes in the cyber security of the company from the inside or external network. This hacking is done to test the level of cyber security in their company. So basically they hack their own environment they hack their own infrastructure just to check the cyber security so that any external person couldn't do that so if basically if you just hack your own system you would be able to know the loopholes right so that the moment you know the loopholes you can just minimize these loopholes by performing any kind of you know a kind of a firewall or any other security method Okay so you have to implement these method the moment you find out any kind of loopholes that is the only reason why companies company hires white hat hackers just to test their infrastructure okay or we can say just to test their network so that they can find out the loopholes before anyone else can do that okay so basically company hires these people they pay uh, some amount to them uh, just to test their network we we call it you know vulnerability testing so uh, uh, these white hat hackers uh, have to do the exact hacking you know uh, exact like uh, black hat hackers but the only difference is they are authorized to do that by signing some papers and of course they follow the rules and regulations of that particular company before hacking uh, the system or we can say the infrastructure okay the motive or aims behind these activity is just to check out your infrastructure or your company network so if there is any loophole your white hat hacker uh, you know would find it and you know we can just minimize this threat before anyone any external person exploit this threat okay that is the only motive to hire white hat hackers so basically they work for the government for the public sector for the private sector but of course in a positive manner not in a bad uh, negative manner okay now the second one black hat hackers black hat hackers are also knowledgeable computer experts but with the wrong intention so basically they are not the good guys they all are bad guys they attack other systems to get access to the system where that do not have authorized entry or we can say access so they just do it just to steal the data or destroy the complete system the hacking practice used by these types of hackers depend on the individual hacking capacity and knowledge as the intention of the hacker make the hackers a criminal The malicious action intent of the individual cannot be gauged either can the extent of the breach while hacking the purpose of these guys is just to steal the money or we can say steal the bank data right so these kind of malicious activity black hat hackers do now the motive and aims of these guys are just to hack into company network and steal bank data funds or any kind of sensitive information normally they use the stolen resources to profit themselves sell them on the black market or harass their target company so basically they will just steal your data and in return they will ask for some money so these guys are not good guys that's why we call them black hat hackers now the last one gray hat hackers the gray hat hackers falls in between the black hat hackers and white hat hackers they are not certified hackers 
these types of hackers work with either good or bad intentions it may be good sometimes it may be bad the hacking might be for their own profit or maybe any kind of other gain the intention behind hacking decides the type of hacker if the intention is for personal gain then the hacker is considered to be a gray hat hacker the difference is they don't want to rob people nor they don't want to help people rather they enjoy experimenting with systems to find loopholes crack defenses and generally find a fun hacking experience so we cannot define that thing the, that gray hat hackers are always a good guys and gray hat hackers are always a bad guys no they just keep on experiment they just keep on exploiting any kind of system okay so they are not criminals and again they are they, they might be a not a good guys as well okay so these kind of people who lies in between these two you know black hat hackers or white hat hackers somewhere between the lies uh, in between these two hackers so we considered those as a gray hat hackers okay so finally we discussed uh, the three hat hackers in this video and in the next video we'll be discussing around 9 to 10 kind of uh, hackers including script kiddies and uh, other types of hackers as well so if you like the video make sure you share with the others and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching